Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 17 of Learn Lightroom 6, also known as Lightroom CC. Now, many of you know that I sell presets for Lightroom, and one of the bundles I sell is an HDR preset package. It will give a single image an HDR look to it. I often get emails from folks, though, asking me if there's another way you could get an HDR look to a single image. Specifically, they're wondering if there was a way that you could use a single image and create virtual copies of that image, changing the exposure on each one, and use those in an external program, such as Photomatix Pro, uh, which is a very popular uh, program to create HDR tone mapped images and the answer is yes you can and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it now I have this single image of this uh, little tree on the Niagara River and as you can see it's slightly underexposed but I want to create four virtual copies so I'll have five total copies of this image now to create a virtual copy, as many of you know, there's multiple ways to do it. And one of the easiest ways that I often do is you right click on the image and you go down to create virtual copy right there. But there is actually a keyboard shortcut that I more often use. And since I'm using a uh, Apple computer, it's command apostrophe. If you have um, a PC, it's control apostrophe and you'll create um, a virtual copy immediately by doing that. So we're going to do that four times. So we have a total of five virtual copies. Now, what I want to do is I have this image here, which I'm calling my base image, and it's exposed correctly, even though it technically is slightly underexposed. I think it's underexposed about a third of a stop. I did that. Uh, to retain detail in the sky. Now, the other five I want to vary the exposure on, or I'm sorry, the other four I want to vary the exposure on. And I want to go one stop on each one in um, each direction, meaning this one I want one stop overexposed. So I'm going to just go to exposure and I'm just going to manually type in uh, one. So that now is one stop overexposed. I'll go to the next virtual copy and I'm going to make that two stops overexposed. Now I'm going to go to the third virtual copy and I'm going to make that one stop underexposed. So I'm going to hit the minus and then hit 1.00. So that is now one full stop underexposed. And the last virtual copy, you guessed it, we're going to make that one two stops underexposed. So I now have these five copies of the image, the original image itself, and then four copies which are all spaced uh, one stop from each other and from the original, you know, so, so you understand what I mean. So now we're going to send this over to Photomatix. Now you might be asking me at this point, can't we use the new HDR feature that is in Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC? Unfortunately, you can't. Uh, if you highlight all these images by clicking on, let's say the first one, hold the shift key in and click on the last one so they're all selected, and you right click on it and you go up to Photo Merge HDR, it's just going to sit there. It's not going to do anything. But we're going to send this over to Photomatix Pro, which in my opinion is probably the most popular uh, HDR software out there. So to send this to Photomatix Pro, we're going to go up to File, uh, Export with Preset, and then we're going to go down to Photomatix Pro. Now, this box is from Photomatix Pro. It's asking me if I want to align the images, and since it's the same image, I don't have to click that box. So processing will be a little quicker having that unclicked. Um, show options to remove ghosts. We don't have to do that. Typically, I would reduce noise. Uh, particularly on the underexposed images, but we're not going to do that because just to save time, and we're not going to reduce chromatic aberrations to save time. I automatically am going to reimport this image back into the Lightroom libra library, and the output format is TIFF 16 bit uh, when we're done. So we're going to click export. So what's going to happen now is Photomatix does not handle raw files, so 
Lightroom is creating TIFF files for each of these five images and it's going to take a little time so I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back in a second. Okay now uh, it finished what it needed to do and we're in Photomatix and it's asking me to set the EV spacing and the reason why it's doing this is because that first image I purposely when I exposed it exposed it uh, I underexposed it on purpose so that I would retain the detail in the sky. So as you can see the original image here it's trying to give it about a third of a stop um, positive exposure compensation to make it properly exposed. I don't really want that so I'm just going to change this so everything is one stop um, difference. So we have the properly exposed image one that is one stop overexposed, one that is two stop overexposed, and similarly for the ones that are underexposed. And we're just going to click OK. Now, the program is now going to merge the images into an HDR image. And then it will open up in um, Photomatix so we could adjust it. Now, you can see it, it automatically applied my last settings that I used in Photomatix and I really am not much of an HDR shooter so I don't have a lot of presets. I have two. I have Tony's Cool Summer I call it and Tony's Warm Summer and that's about it. So that's all the presets I have. Now there are some built-in presets um, with um, Photomatix and you get these really you know painterly looks and and things like that that you could do also but we'll just go to my presets and let's pick, um, let's pick, I don't know, they're both about the same to me. So let's pick Tony's Warm Summer. I'm not going to show you any adjustments in Photomatix because that's not the point of this video. I do have a video that demonstrates Photomatix Pro and I encourage you if you're really interested in Photomatix to watch that video. But we're going to stick with just this preset, Tony's Warm Summer. And we're going to click Save and Re-Import. And it's going to actually now create this TIFF file. And it's going to re-import it into uh, Lightroom. And you'll see it come up. And, well, we won't until I close this box down. And here it is, right there. So that was really one single exposure that I took one day on the Niagara River. And I made four virtual copies. And I separated the virtual copies by one exposure stop each, um, you know, and just merged them with Photomatix Pro. I used this specific preset I happen to have, and that is the result. And again, that was the original unprocessed image. You could see that no processing was done on this raw file, and we ended up with that. So I know many of you really detest HDR and think that HDR is ruining photography and you're of course entitled to your opinion um, your everyone else though or anyone else that likes HDR is of course entitled to their opinion so I would encourage everyone to do what you enjoy and if you enjoy HDR by all means do it because you have no one to satisfy but yourself so again uh, that's it. That's how you would do it. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching my videos. Thank you very, very much. Um, if you guys haven't already, if you could go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys soon.